Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. I am wonderful, Mr. Neil Bradley. I want to thank you so much for joining me. I want my audience to know as I talk to people on the African platform across America that you are the Executive Vice President and the Chief, Op Chief Operating Officer of the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. Thank you so much for having this discussion with us. We'd like to know about some economic data. You did a report on small business optim optimism and the workforce trends in 2020, and this is a perfect time to talk about it. It is a great time to talk about it, and thanks for having me. You know, one of my roles at the Chief Policy Officer at the U.S. Chamber is to look at what businesses are facing. And one of the things that we found in our most recent survey of small businesses is record high optimism. Uh, no matter where you go in the country, they're excited about the opportunities that they have to grow their business and expand and serve their customers. But they also face a couple challenges. And um, one of the things that we work on at the U.S. Chamber in partnership um, with our chambers in, in across the states and in localities like Dallas is figuring out how we help them address some of those challenges like the lack of available workers to fill the open jobs that they have. Okay, so why the optimism? What, what's giving us the optimism? Is it the draw, strong jobs report? Or I, it can't be Washington, I know. Well, it's definitely not Washington, although they're doing more than you'd think sometimes. <laughs> uh, I, I think it's certainly, it's, you know, we have generational low unemployment. We haven't had unemployment this low since uh, 1969. Um, it's also wages are growing, right? So, you know, one of the things, we all feel better when we have more money in our pocket, better ability to take care of ourselves and our families. And we've seen wages rising. So we're uh, the most late recent numbers came out this morning, 3% wage growth. That's faster than inflation. That means people's real standard of living is growing. I think that's what small business owners are responding to because they feel it too. You mentioned Texas in there. Texas is one of the leading states to me. More people are moving to Texas. We have a uh, uh, great administration of overall government, that type of thing. So how are states like Texas leading the way in the state in a sense that the federal government isn't? Well, you know, uh, you're right. There are a lot of great things going on in Texas, uh, and you actually have some good problems. You know, one of the things that our most recent data showed, we were trying to match up the total number of available workers in each state with the total number of open jobs, and you're attracting a lot of people from across the United States there into Texas, but you still have a worker shortage. Turns out that if we took every available person who doesn't have a job, we still couldn't fill all the open jobs there in Texas. And so that's a, that's a real challenge. It's the right kind of problem to have. You'd rather be in your shoes than someone else's shoes, um, but it's still a hindrance to keeping the economy growing. Um, I'd also say that uh, you're avoiding some of the mistakes that we see being made in states like California, for example, where they're making it harder rather than easier for people to work. That's true. It seems like they're pricing people out of California. I know so many people here in Texas that are from California. Now, let me move on to my next question. What about, Texas is not just about Texas. Texas is about leadership around the world. What about uh, uh, reasserting U.S. leadership abroad? Hugely important. You know, Fata, we have to remember that 95% of the world's consumers live outside the United States. You know, a lot of folks in Texas make a good living selling things that they make in Texas or services that they provide to people around the world, particularly right there with Mexico, right? So one of the things that we've been champions of is more free trade, U.S. global leadership. Uh, the U.S.-Mexico-Canada free trade agreement. Amazingly, NAFTA was written before we had an internet. Today, Thousands of small businesses in Texas sell things to people in Mexico on the Internet. And this trade agreement, which we're going to get done in the next few weeks here in Washington, makes it easier for those small businesses to sell those, uh, those goods uh, across the border. I want to remind you guys, so you can stay connected, that I'm talking with Neil Bradley. He's the Executive Vice President and Chief Operating Officer of the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. So we're talking your money. Okay, Mr. Bradley, uh, uh, what about free trade and capitalism? That has to thrive in America in order for us to thrive. Absolutely. You know, uh, free trade makes us all richer. It allows us to do the things that we really do well and allows us to trade with people for the things that they do really well. You know, one of the things 
that we're really watching. You know, it's no surprise 2020 is an election year and it's all about politics. And we're at this crossroads and we have to decide what kind of economy we want to have. Do we want an economy where we nationalize more things, where we federalize control over really big parts of our economy, where we make it harder for someone to go out and start a business or to go out and get a job, maybe an independent contractor job. Maybe they're driving an Uber or a Lyft or they're delivering for Instacart. Do we want to make it harder for them to do that or easier? And right now we're seeing a dichotomy. We're seeing a lot of folks on the campaign trail and in various states who say, we're choosing to make it harder. What we're leading forth, the U.S. Chamber and allies uh, there in Texas, is to say, no, 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 that's the wrong direction. We believe in free enterprise. We believe in individual entrepreneurship and opportunity. We want to make it easier. We talk about Texas and the things it's doing, and uh, they've got, there are other states I know are doing well. I see a lot about Utah. I see a lot about Montana because I look at a world and a national perspective. But what is our nation leaders? How, how do we get Washington to rise to the challenge or have, maybe I'm wrong, maybe they have risen to the challenge? Well, no, they need to do a lot more, Valder. You're, you're absolutely right. And what we need to remind them is that they have a central role to play. You know, we're all really proud of the states that we're from. I happen to be from Oklahoma. I'm really proud to be an Oklahoman. I know that may not be popular with some of your viewers there, but, you know, that's where I grew up. But one of the things that we see going on is that we see this divergence in the economy. Some states writing one rules, other states writing the other. Congress has to step up. The internet does not end at the borders of California or Texas. People in Sacramento shouldn't be writing the rules for our nation. We need national solutions to these problems. I want to thank you so much, Mr. Bradley. You have such a clean perspective of how to go forward. I wish we could get that on the minds of our people in Washington and and. and to be cohesive in their perspective, but that's what prayer is for. Amen. I want to thank you, Mr. Neil Bradley, for coming to the Valder BB Show. You have made my money day. I really appreciate you. Well, thank you, Valder. I appreciate you. And learn more at uschamber.com. Together, we're going we're gonna to get this country on the right track. All right. Have a great 2020. You too. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of the Valder Beebe Show. I have used Credit Help USA, the credit restoration company that's bonded and state certified. When you become a client of Credit Help USA, you become eligible for a set of stainless steel cookware from Credit Help USA and the Valder BB Show. Get your credit straight today. Visit credithelptx.com, click on the Valder BB Show icon, and get started living life divinely. <music>